In our last video comparison on fabric glues. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, 24 hours. We got a lot of comments from you on how I spread the glue incorrectly. So today I'm gonna to do a strength test just using denim and we're gonna use a knife to spread the glue. Let's get started. In our last video, the winners were E6000 and Speedso. So we're gonna do a strength test using them today against Craft Bond. First step is to glue two pieces of cloth together with Speedso. The nice thing about Speedso is I know it'll come off the knife. So that's about an inch. So we'll do the same thing with E6000. Oh no, E6000, you've dried up on me. That's not good, and I put the lid on. Let's see if I got another one. Spread it on there, looks like enough. Spread it around. Now the thing with E6000, if I put it on my skin, I'm not sure if it's going to stay on my skin. Now, let's do Craft Bond. Craft Bond didn't really work too well, if I recall. Definitely over five minutes, so let's see if it sticks. Hopefully it does. Oh my goodness, yikes. Sorry, sorry, craft bond, fail. Okay, spread it around, about an inch. In our last video, we were criticized for not allowing enough dry time. So in today's video, we're gonna give all three of these 24 hours. See you tomorrow. We're back, it's been a full 24 hours. Let's see who wins. We'll start on my right with E6000. I have a feeling they'll be good. Yep, cracked a bone in my neck doing that one. Speed soap. Very good, Craft Bond. Can you handle the strength test? Yes, all three are good. Well done Craft Bond, Speed Sew and E6000. In conclusion, Craft Bond did excellent against the Champs, Speed Sew, and E6000. If you wanna see how Craft Bond did in all other aspects, please check out our comparison video, and the link will be provided in the description below.